Hey guys welcome back to another tutorial. And today we will create this nice sail banner design for Facebook cover in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. First go to file and create a new artboard with these dimensions. These are default dimensions for Facebook cover. But you can use any other dimensions that you like. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Change its color to white. Now we will add a background image here. Download these images from the video description. First drag this wall background in Illustrator. Align it to the center. And scale it down according to the artboard. Decrease its opacity to 40%. Now we have a nice background for our banner. Now select the rectangle tool. And create a rectangle like this. Change its fill color to black. Now go to effect. Distort and transform. And zigzag. Increase the size to 20 pixels. And select two ridges per segment. Select smooth point, and hit OK. Now decrease its opacity to 5%. And slightly rotate this rectangle like this. Now create a copy of this rectangle. Hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy. Now rotate this copy slightly in opposite direction. And adjust its position like this. Now we have a nice background for our banner. Press CTRL A to select everything. Go to object. And lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing our background. Now drag this product image in Illustrator. Align it vertically to the center. And scale it down. Place it slightly on the right side. And rotate it as you like. Now select the product image. Go to effect. And apply a shadow to the product. Note down these values for the shadow. And hit OK. Now the product is looking more appropriate. Now we will add some headline text here. Select the type tool. And write some headline text for your banner. Adjust its font size according to your requirement. Note down the font that I'm using here. Hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy. Replace it with some other text. Apply a different color to make it more appropriate. Note down the RGB code for this orange color and apply it. Now adjust the font size of this headline. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle here. Change its fill color to black. Select the Type tool, and write some text for this rectangle. Decrease its font size according to the rectangle. Change its color to white. And align it to the center of this rectangle.
create a copy of this text. And replace it. Change the color of this rectangle to the same orange shade. Now we will transform this full headline. Select the transform tool. Click and hold this anchor point. Now hold down the control key. And drag this anchor point slightly upward. This will nicely transform the headline. Now make adjustments to this headline. Scale it up further to make it more appropriate. And adjust its position. Now add your logo at the top left corner. I will use this logo just to give you an idea. Drag your logo in Illustrator. Scale it down. And place it on a position like this. Now add some contact info here. Select the type tool, and write some helpful link here. Use some decent font for this contact info. Note down the font that I've used here. Create a copy. And add some contact number. Increase its font weight to make it more appropriate. And slightly adjust the font size. Now add some discount offer here. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle. Apply the same orange color to it. Go to effect. And round its corners. Select a suitable value for this rectangle. And hit OK. Now write some text for this rectangle. Align it to the center of the rectangle. Change its color to white. And adjust its font size. Now add a discount offer here. You can write any discount offer that you like. Just create copies and replace them. We will adjust this full discount offer in a minute. Now we will adjust this full text. First select these two lines, and decrease their font weight. Now select this discount text, and change its color to orange. Increase the font size of this number. Now adjust the font size of this remaining text. Place this text closer to the discount offer. Now select this full text, 
and place it on the bottom right corner like this. Now we have a nice discount offer. Now we will add some extra shapes here. Select the ellipse tool, and create a small circle here. Change its color to orange. And scale it down to create a really small circle. Right click on this circle. Go to transform. And select transform each from the list. Change the horizontal movement to 10 pixels. And create a copy. Select both these circles. Again right click, and transform each. But this time, change the vertical movement to 10 pixels. And create a copy. Press Ctrl D several times to repeat this step. Now select all these circles. Press Ctrl G to group them and place them on a position like this. Hold down the ALT key, and create a copy for the opposite side. Create another copy, and place it here. Rotate this copy to 90 degrees, and adjust its position. Apply some different color to make them more appropriate. Now our banner is complete. Go to Object, and select Unlock All. This will unlock all the layers that we've locked earlier. Now select the Rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object, and make a clipping mask. And here is the final output. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to Mac Visuals. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.